Happy Easter. I was just waking up. Say Happy Easter. I baby. woke up before all of my family. Say Happy Easter. Happy Easter. My, my I wonder what the Easter Bunny gave us. La, I remember last well, time he <laughs> gave us a baby LOL. Well, let's see what the Easter Bunny left us for today. Why do we celebrate Easter? Okay. Um, well, I mean, we because, have gifts. Because Jesus, Jesus died on the cross that day. Right, and he resurrected on the cross, right, for us? Yeah, and so he that rise, wasn't and he, he on wasn't the cross that day. the other day. That's right. We went. Yeah? All right, let's go down and see. Well, yeah. what about Dad? Yeah, Daddy's still sleeping. <laughs> no, we have to wake him up. Okay, let's go see. Easter Bunny went down yeah. here to get a surprise for us last night because we didn't have Easter the other day. <laughs> oh, yeah? Okay, let's see. Oh, my goodness. What is it? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look what the Easter Bunny got you. Oh my goodness! Look what the Easter Bunny got you. <gasps> oh, pom poms! Oh my goodness! What else is in there? Oh my gosh! So look what I got. I got. I know you too. Poopsie slime surprise. <laughs> okay, the girls are gonna try peeps for the very first time. Go ahead, Zara, take one. <laughs> okay, Ava, take one. <laughs> Wait, no, rip the whole thing. <laughs> rip the whole thing. The whole chick. Here. Okay. Do we eat this? Wait, there's a lot of sugar on it. Now watch, you're getting all over mommy's blanket. You like it? Yeah. You do? Yeah. I'm shocked. You like it, Ava? No, no, no. Go wipe your hands in the kitchen. Mm. Wash your hands. Ava, what about you? You like it? Yes! You too? Yes! yes okay, yes, we got a winner. Yes, yes. Hello my friends, it's now time for me to start cooking. Um, today's Easter Sunday, I hope you guys had a nice Easter last week, it's Easter for us right now. So I'm getting ready to cook. So my responsibilities for today are the mac and cheese, candy yams, and dressing. Now I wasn't even gonna make dressing, but my sister insisted that I make it. So that's what I'm making today. Last night I made my cornbread for the cornbread dressing. I'm gonna make my breadcrumbs as well. Um, Cause I'm gonna start out by prepping everything so that when I get to my mom's, all I have to do is bake it. Now I usually make my cornbread dressing with pork sausage, but my sister does not eat pork, neither does my dad. So she begged me to try to make it with chicken sausage. So that's what I'm gonna try to make. She really likes this chicken sausage. Now it doesn't have any fat in it. So I've gotta fatten it up, so I'm gonna add some butter to the pan while I'm frying this chicken sausage and I'm gonna dice up my onions and my celery. So I have a whole stick of butter in there and some poultry season and some black pepper. My husband went to the store to get some sage because I forgot when I was cleaning out my spice cabinet, I accidentally, the um, sage bottle fell and cracked. It was a glass bottle, it's like my favorite kind of sage. So he went to the store to get that for me and while this is just softening up, I am making my breadcrumbs i make homemade breadcrumbs from a white bread a loaf of um bread and so i'm just cutting them up in cubes here is the star of the show the sage i love this brand sage and i also use this brand for their poultry seasoning i don't know to me it makes a real difference the type of seasonings these are a little bit more expensive they're very very good okay 
I put the poultry seasoning, black pepper, sage, drizzled them in olive oil, and I sprayed the pan with some olive oil spray. So now I'm gonna bake them 350 degrees, watch them very closely, they don't take long, just until they're lightly toasted <clears throat> is when I will take them out. So I decided to make the chicken sausage right in the pan with the stick of butter and the onions and the celery because the chicken doesn't have nearly as much fat, won't give off as much grease as the sausage does because I usually do two separate pans and then I mix them all together. So I just put the chicken in here and flavored it with some sage and black pepper, a little bit of garlic, and it's smelling really good. Oh, it's giving my camera up. <laughs> it's smelling really good. I, this might actually be a hit. We'll see. Okay, so this is just about done. I got my cornbread from last night here, and my breadcrumbs are almost done. And now I'm going to take this bowl, mix it all together, continuously add chicken stock until it gets to the, to the consistency that I need and then I'll be pouring the whole thing in this pan right here. Okay, breadcrumbs are done so now I'm gonna cube my um, cornbread and put, in, put it in bowl. I'm gonna layer this in three so I have one pan of cornbread, I'm gonna put a third of the breadcrumbs in, then a third of the chicken sausage mixture, add the chicken stock until it gets to the consistency that I need, taste it, Add seasoning as needed and then do it all again two more times. So let me go ahead and get started. Definitely don't want to just pour and pour and pour. You want to pour a little, mix a little, pour a little, mix a little. This is still kind of dry, but I'm just mixing it all in, making sure that um, every piece gets a little bit of chicken stock. And I just use the Kirkland, Kirkland brand of organic chicken stock. I want to give a shout out to my mom, my mother-in-law, all the mothers, the grandmothers, the aunties, the cousins, um, all the family that has to be on their feet all morning long for your family to have an enjoyable holiday meal. There's not one holiday where I can just sit back, watch a TV show, you know, put my feet up, you know, because we're cooking for our families. So, love you, mom. You're appreciated. And all the mothers and grandmothers out there that do this every holiday. Okay, back to my dressing. Okay, this is the consistency that I like. You hear that? That means it's good. Now you can make it a little bit more wet than this, but the more liquid you add in, the longer you're gonna have to bake it. Now at this consistency, I will bake it between 30 and 45 minutes. I'll just keep an eye on it, uncovered, until it's brown. Um, now if you add more liquid than this, you can bake this up to an hour. Um, it just depends, you have to keep an eye on it. So now I'm gonna transfer it to the aluminum pan. There we have it. So now I'm gonna wrap this in foil, take it to my mom's and bake it. You can actually make this the day before, put it in the fridge and then the morning of, all you have to do is throw it in the oven. Make sure you taste it. However it tastes right now is how it's gonna taste when you cook it. So make sure you taste it. If it tastes good to you, girl, you're good to go. Okay, I got my water on for my macaroni. This is my favorite brand of macaroni elbows to use. I love Barilla because of the little ridges in there. I don't know. I could just be crazy, but I feel like it captures little extra flavor with the cheese. So now I'm gonna shred all of my cheese. For my cheeses, I got extra sharp Monterey Jack, sharp, and Velveeta. I made, my mom did the circles around them, and, and I dyed the pink. And, and this is the best one because it has family words on it. Man. Yeah, so Bless. these are so cool. Comment down below if you like our video. Breakfast for the family. I accidentally burnt the bacon, but it's okay. It'll still get eaten. Okay, I'm only gonna boil these for about seven minutes till they're al dente. Got two more minutes. All my cheese is shredded. Mmm, I could probably eat this whole plate. Now I'm gonna block my Velveeta. Okay, so I just drained it, and while the pan is still hot, I'm gonna go ahead and add my cheese and the butter and the um, half and a half. This is how we like it. I have this much cheese left to put on top of the mac and cheese once I pour it in the pan, but she's good to go. Make sure you taste it before you put the beaten eggs. I have not put the eggs in yet because I just tasted it and it tastes good. So now I'm gonna add, beat two eggs, add it in here, and then add it to the pan. Yummy, yummy, it looks perfect. So I'm gonna put this on some foil on this. Again, you can make this the day before and then pop it in the oven um, the morning of. Um, this is the cheese that's left, and I'm gonna wrap this in foil and take it to my mom's and bake it there. So Eve and I are drawing and coloring. I drew a picture for her, and, and she I'm colored it. And now I'm gonna finish uploading my Sunday set before we head over to my mom's. 
She wanted me to draw this. Mommy, can you eat this one for me? No, baby, you eat it. Mm -mm. Um, I, I did my best. <laughs> I got the jelly bean. You got what? Uh, I got the jelly bean. I have been tearing these up, y'all. Clearly, I'm not keto today. I've been doing good except for today and then Tuesday of this week. <sighs> Girl, the struggle is real. Y'all will see in the keto updates, but I'm still holding on. So anyway, I'm enjoying today. I'm gonna going to eat this. I got um this and the rest of our Easter candy from Walmart. If you'd like to see that video, you could tap this eye right here. So I am done uh uploading my video and playing with Ava. So now we're gonna get dressed. We actually went to church Easter service last night, Saturday evening, which was nice. Uh, we had a good time. Um, so that just gives us me a little bit more time on Sunday today to cook and you know just have family time like my family and i we all went so now i'm gonna pick out their outfits so we can head over to my mom's can we just get a moment of silence on how amazing my puff looks okay this is not a beauty channel clearly but edges laid girl laid to the side okay so i'm dressed i'm ready to go showered so now I'm going to make the Instant Pot candy yams at my mom's. So I have to make sure I have everything. I mean, I'm sure my mom has like brown sugar and sugar and stuff like that, but I just don't want to take any chances. So I'm just gonna bring everything that I need with me and then I'll just bring it home. Mom, she cut up the pineapple upside down cake and I just stole the last piece, it was so good. Mmm. Say hi, sis. Hi. No. We'll be eating soon. Mmm. We have some caramelized beets. Yummy. Now I'm gonna put my macaroni and I'm dressing in. Mother, you're not camera shy today? Okay. That's nice. Mmm, <laughs> it smells just like collard greens in here. Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait to eat. Okay, so mom and I are about to peel these sweet potatoes. She's not happy at the fact that I didn't bring them peeled. No, I'm not. And we're going to make our candy of the Instant Pot. I'm gonna put these in, 30 minutes, they should be done. The recipe I use for the Instant Pot candy yams, you could find on iHeart Recipes. I'll leave a link for her video in the description box, except for I have a secret ingredient. I'll show you guys that after I mix the rest of the ingredients in here. Here I have sugar, brown sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, brown clove, brown ginger. I'm a, I mixed it all up. I'm gonna sprinkle it in here. I'm gonna add um, a quarter teaspoon of, or is it a full teaspoon? Let me look real quick. I'm going to add a tablespoon, excuse me, of vanilla extract, and then my secret ingredient, and then it'll be time to put them in the Instant Pot. The secret ingredient is a hefty, a hefty splash of brown vanilla. I added a little bit of cornstarch to thicken it up, put it on for 15 minutes, and I'm gonna let it do its thing. Oh, Mom, that's so cute. Are those bunny ears? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Adorbs. Mom's turkey breast, it looks delicious. We have our honey baked ham. Um, turkey ham. My family loves this ham. It's so good. In 30 minutes, I'm gonna let this cook just a little bit more because it's pretty soft on the inside. It's hard when you're cooking two things in one oven. Now, if it was in the oven by itself, then it would probably be done. So I'm gonna check it in another 10, 15 minutes. What'd you find? One of the eggs outside. Um, oh my goodness. The mac and cheese is done, and it smells and looks delicious. I'm gonna put some foil on this until it's time to eat. My sister made a dairy-free mac and cheese. It's very unique tasting. Sis, why don't you tell everybody? I went ahead and used this. She used this half and half. And, half. and I'm telling you, it's a gift. You guys a are lactose intolerant. Monk fruit sweetener, just a touch. And then if you guys are, are lactose intolerant, I'm telling you this cheese right here changes the game. And I absolutely, it really tastes like true mozzarella and this is the way I make my pizza. And they sell it at Whole Foods. It's moist, so. moist. You can often find it at your grocery stores in the yellow cheddar, which is really good, but it was really hard for me to find this, but I did find it at Whole Foods. Okay, wow, there it is. It's kind of spicy. Oh, my dressing looks perfect. It looks so good. I'm gonna put some foil on it. So we're getting ready to eat. Here is the table. Doesn't it look beautiful? So Easter-y. I love it. It's very pretty. And here's the kids' table for my girls. Nibbles, center pieces. So cute. 
My sister had the bright idea to let the kids make a cake right before we're about to eat. Goodness. Oh, mother, that looks delicious. We don't even really need any ham gravy. Sometimes my mom makes ham, ham gravy. But we really don't need it because it has that syrup. Oh, they smell so good, y'all. I'm about to pour them in the casserole dish. It'll be time to eat. Prayer time. So we have the dressing with the chicken sausage, some greens, mac and cheese, turkey ham, turkey gravy, rolls, some orange beets that my mom caramelized with some onions. My mom's world famous potato salad. And, and fennel. My mom's world famous potato salad. Some corn pudding. And some hot candy yams. And mm, 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 it is time to eat. Mmm, desserts. We have some cupcakes, cookies, some brownies my mom made. My dad made a pineapple upside down cake. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, yo, this looks so good. Now, if you can hand me those. Look at this macaroni. It's so perfect. Love it. And this is, um, ham glaze on the turkey ham. My sister just made, what are these called, mom? Champagne floats. Champagne floats with sherbet. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, I'm still really stuffed though. Okay, guys. It feels good to me. Hurry up, go, 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 girls. Find them, find the eggs. Find, see if you can find some special eggs. No, <gasps> hurry up, keep going. So okay. Keep going. Keep going. Find the eggs. Find the eggs. Oh my gosh. Look at all those eggs. Hurry up. <laughs> Get them. Run, girl. Run. Run for your life. Run. Hurry up. Drop them. Sorry. Don't open them now. Just drop them, girl. Just drop them. Hurry up. Keep going. You guys got more. Go, 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 go. If you see bears, go, 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 go. You tired? Come on, keep going. Oh, that's so nice. You girls are working together. Oh, that's sweet. Good job. Good job, girls. Mm, is this made a wonderful cake? White cake? Chocolate ice cream. I'm so stuffed. I'm so stuffed. I'm not taking any food home because I can't eat it after today, mother. Sorry. Honey, you are have tennis tomorrow. You're not gonna have time to come over. Anymore. I know, mother. I know. Okay, girls, you're gonna open your poopsie slime surprise. Okay, yeah, open them up. So I'm just gonna start saying. Poopsie slime mess. Good thing it's staying here. Keep this or no, just I'm gonna throw everything away. Okay. Except for these. Zara, come here. And everything gets thrown away. Show everybody your poopsie slime surprise, it's honey. It's really pretty. It's mm -hmm. very it's pretty. Blue. It's a pretty blue. Mm -hmm. It goes in here. It smells really strong. Strong scented. So I'm sitting here editing this week's Sunday setup and I totally realized that I forgot to close the vlog out. Girl, we got home. I was so full of food. We literally watched Game of Thrones and I passed out from a food coma. Seriously, <laughs> that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below and let me know how you celebrated Easter. How was it for you? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, you can tap my picture up above and you can also check out my previous video right over here and all of my social media platforms all listed down below. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.